Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. So this is the part 3 of the 4 videos for estimating the quantity of materials for formworks. So on the first two videos, we were able to estimate the quantity of materials for the footing and for the column. So this time we are now going to estimate the quantity of materials for the formworks of the beam. Okay. So going back to the plan. Uh, let me just show you a uh, an example no? for computation sake. Let's consider this. Let's consider section C1 until section C8. Okay. I repeat, let's consider section C1. section C8 okay so the total length for that is equivalent to 0 ah no it's not 0 is 20 meters okay so before we proceed with the estimating let's first check what is the dimension <clears throat> of SB because for that uh, for this um beam it is sb so going to the schedule for the beam sb is 0.2 for the width and 0.4 meters for the depth likewise with the pb it is 0.2 by 0.4 for the cross-sectional area uh, for the cross-sectional dimension so we have here pb and sb so we have the same okay so this is how it's going to look like so you have here your uh your formworks for the beam so you have here the beam side form with braces of course this is it beam side form with braces and you have here the beam bottom form you have here the horizontal scaffolding the vertical scaffolding now if we're going to look this por at, at this portion on a cross-sectional view this is how it's going to look like okay so this is from this point to this point it is 0 0.2 according to our plan yeah so this is 0 0.2 meters okay Again, we are going to have an extension, okay? An extension on this side and an, another extension on the other side. Why? Because on this side, we are going to, in, uh, we will be having here our bracing, this one. On this side, we will be having a bracing. And we all know that for bracing, we commonly use, we commonly use 0 0.05 by 0 0.05 meter okay so for the extension it would be 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay let me draw here our ano, beam dimension so we have here the width is uh, 0 0.2 meters and the depth is 0 0.4 yeah so 0 0.4 meters okay so it is coinciding with our cross-sectional view so this is 0.2 the width is 0 0.2 and the extension is 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay so for a uh, the beam we are only going to consider three sides so we have the sides and the bottom we're not going to place any forms on the top because it will hinder us from pouring concrete and at the same time it's useless no because with the law of gravity everything is going down okay so it's useless so we're only going to consider three sides that would be the sides 
in the bottom for the forms. Okay? So for the number of forms, number of forms, the first is form. Let's first get the total length of uh, the beam. And that is 20 meters from the pre uh, previous plan that I showed you. It is 20 meters minus how many columns do we have? Okay, so we're going to count our number of columns. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we, we're going to subtract 8 columns. All of the columns are C1. Designated C1, C1, C1. Okay? And from the schedule, C1 is... From the schedule, we have C1 as 0 0.2 meters by 0 0.4. Okay? So it would be... 0 0.4 times 8. Okay? So the total length of the beam that we're going to compute is 20 minus 0.4 times 8. Therefore, the total length is 16.8 meters. Now, let's determine the area. Area is equivalent to, take note, we have 0 0.4 because the depth is 0 0.4, yeah? So, 0 0.4 times the length of 16.8. So, 0 0.4 times the length of 16.8 meters. And there are two sides, okay? So, times 2. So, that is times 2. Plus, this time... We and uh, we're going to determine now the area for the beam bottom form. So for the beam bottom four, isn't it that the width of the column is zero point two plus the extension that would make it zero point two plus zero point zero five plus zero point zero five times the length, the length of sixteen point eight meters okay and the area would be 4 times 16.8 times 2 plus 0.2 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 times 16.8 the total area therefore is equivalent to 18.48 square meters. To get the number of plywood, num just simply divide 18.48 square meters divided by the commercial size of the commercial size of plywood, which is 1.2 by 2.4 square meters. Square meters will cancel out. So that is 18.48 divided by 1.2 times 2.4. And that is 6.42 square meters. Uh, 6.42 pieces. And that is equivalent to 7 pieces of 4 feet by 8 feet by 1 fourth inch. Okay? So, after the forms, we now estimate the quantity for the bracing. Okay? So, for the bracing, the board foot total 
is equivalent to the area which is 18.48 times our factor of 12.71 board foot per square meter. This is also in square meter, so square meter will cancel out. Therefore, the total board foot is equivalent to 18.48 times 12.71, that is 234.88. And this is equivalent to 235 board foot. Remember, for bracing, we are using 2 inch by 2 inch. And again, we're, we're still going to use the 14 feet. And uh, for the 2 inch by 2 inch by 14 feet, and that, uh, that is equivalent to 4.67 board foot per piece. So the number of 2 inch by 2 inch by 14 feet is equivalent to the total board foot of 235 divided by 4.67 board foot per piece. Board foot will cancel out. Therefore, the number of uh, 2 inch by 2 inch by 14 feet is... Fifty point thirty two pieces, and that is equivalent to fifty one pieces of two inch by two inch by fourteen feet rough lumber. Lastly, we will now be estimating for the scaffolding. So we have the horizontal, the vertical. Okay, so let's proceed now with scaffolding. So for the scaffolding, we will be using again the factors from the book of Max Fajardo, CE Estimating. So we will be using this factor again. We are using 2 by 3 inch. This time, it is a beam. So, for the vertical, it is 6. And for the horizontal, it is a multiplier of 7. Okay? So, we'll be using these factors. Okay. So, we have here the 2 inch by 3 inch. So, vertical is 6. Horizontal is 7 for the multiplier. So, likewise with the column... We estimated it by per meter height. This time, for the beam, it is per meter length. Okay? So, the total board foot for the scaffolding for the beam is equivalent to 16.8 meters. Meter length. 16.8 meter length times we have... 6 plus 7 board foot per meter. This will simply cancel out. Therefore, the total board foot is equivalent to 16.8 times 6 plus 7. And that is 241.8. So, we, rounded, we round up that to 242 board foot and for the scaffolding we will be using 2 inch by 3 inch by 14 feet why is it important that we, we will be uh, we use longer uh, commercial sizes for the length of your rough lumber because we want to avoid cutting of uh, the vertical support or the vertical scaffolding that is also for stability purposes okay that's why as much as possible we try to have the uh, longer length of your vertical scaffolding okay so 
2 inch by 3 inch by 14, how many board foot per piece? So that would be 2 times 3 times 14 divided by 12. So we have 7. 7 board foot per piece. So for the number of so for the number of 2 inch by 3 inch by 14 feet, we have the total board foot of 242 board foot divided by 7 board foot per piece. Board foot will simply cancel out. Therefore, the number is equivalent to 34.57 pieces. So that is equivalent to 35 pieces of 2 inch by 3 inch by 14 feet rough number. I repeat, two in, uh, the number of 2 inch by 3 inch by 14 feet is simply 242 board foot, which is the total board foot, divided by the board foot per piece, which is 7. And that is equivalent to 34.57 rounded up to 35 pieces and that is the final answer.